Watch how this plane wall transforms into a clean, modern entry feature with stone, wood, and vertical panels. Hey everyone, welcome back to Nicer channel and today we are modeling this beautiful entrance wall exactly like the reference image. If you enjoyed the tailored SketchUp modeling session, make sure to like the video and subscribe so you won't miss the upcoming tutorials. Alright, let's start building this feature wall from scratch. I already imported the image into SketchUp and I first move it a little to the side to clear my workspace. Then I draw a rectangle with the, with the dimensions 2800 by 1500 millimeters. And from the left edge, I copy a line 500 millimeters. And again, I copy another line with the same distance. I select the entire shape and group it. Again, I select the base surface, copy it, paste it in place, group it, and extrude it 30 millimeters as well. Now I take another copy of this same surface, paste it in place, Make the group and extrude it 30 millimeters. For this part, I take another copy and paste it in place. And now I open the 1001 bit plugin to create vertical panel lines inside the seating. First, 20 millimeters, again, 25 millimeters. 35 millimeters, angle zero, choose front. And uh, with one click, the vertical panel is created perfectly. And now, uh, from the from this middle point, I draw a line at 50 millimeters. Then I draw another line, another vertical line here. Now I extrude this shape 10 millimeters. Select all and make the group. And now from the bottom, I mark 800 millimeters. And at that height, I draw a rectangle sized 200 by 1500 millimeters. I extruded 250 millimeters and now I push this area 50 millimeters downward. It looks better this way. And from this edge, I copy a line 10 millimeters, another one at 20 millimeters. I also pushed it a small surface, 10 millimeters. It's done. I divide the main line into three segments using the divide tool and draw lines at all three points. I select these two new lines and copy both sides four millimeters outward. And now I push these surfaces all the way to the end, also this part. Now the geometry is complete, time for materials. Uh, for materials, I use different textures. For the surfaces, now you can use any color or texture you like. For the first panel, I use this marble texture and I scale it until it matches the proportions of the image. Or for this shape, I scale it a little more. Uh, it's better. For the second panel, 
I choose a different zoom texture and it's clipped as well. Mm, it's better. Now we have two zoom slab like a reference image. For this shape, you can even switch to a different design. I test another mold bar style here and scale it until it fits. And I move it a little. It's better. But I go back to the original stone texture because it uh, matches the concept better. Also, I scale it again like this and move it for the vertical panels i use white materials it's them and for the lines between them i apply a black color i go solid color and choose black so the grooves become strong and more visible for the floating shelf or drawer uh, I apply a wood texture and I rotate this texture 90 degrees to match the direction of the grain It looks much better. And for this small vertical piece, I use black to contrast with the wood. And now we are done. Here you can see the final feature wall, the exact stone textures, the wood shelf, the vertical panels, and the lightning lines all match the reference image beautifully. This model is perfect for entrances, hallways, or even behind the TV wall. Also, you can use it. This wraps up our modeling session for today. If you want to find the textures or a rendering tutorial for this wall, just tell me. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.